What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the new Soundcore Sleep A20 earbuds. Again, huge shout out to Soundcore for reaching out to the channel and supplying these earbuds for an honest unboxing and review. And you know how we do when we get new stuff here on Ronald Tech. Let's get to it. All right, we're in with the Soundcore Sleep A20 Bluetooth earbuds. Huge shout out to Soundcore once again for reaching out to the channel and providing these earbuds for an honest uh, review. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the specs and, and price. Uh, these guys will go for $149.99. They are starting a Kickstarter campaign for these on April 16th. So you want to check it out there. Go out there if you want to back it and everything so they can get these guys out to market. They only come in the white color and hopefully down the road they uh, go ahead and bring out some more uh, different colors anyway. Let's go ahead and talk specs real quick. They rock Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support for only AAC and SBC, so no high-res audio uh, for these. As far as noise canceling, there is no active noise canceling for these. However, they do have a four-point noise masking system. It's Soundcore's exclusive twin seal ear tips, bringing three times uh, stronger passive noise cancellation. So basically almost active, but you know, they say it's the best. We'll be testing that. And of course, with battery life, these guys, if you can sleep mode, you can get up to 14 hours. And with the case, you can get up to 80 hours. Now, if you use in Bluetooth mode, you can get up to 10 hours of playback time on the earbuds. With the case, you can get up to 55 hours. All right. So you got two different variations to work with there. As far as water resistance rating, uh, there was none listed for these uh, that I could see. But if they do come out with a water resistant rating, I will pin it in the comment section below. As far as special features, these guys have a zero has zero pressure for side sleepers. I'm a side sleeper, so I'm going to definitely be testing these out, and we're going to see how they do. Um, they have a sleep monitor with the MEM sensor inside the ear inside the earbuds. Then you can create your own sleep playlist. We going to um, I'm definitely going to do that. And of course, you got the app support for Android and iOS. So uh, typical Soundcore uh, device minus a few features, but other than that. Let's go ahead and get into them. I think this is going to be a pretty good one. I can't wait to test these out when I go to bed. So let's go ahead and you know, get these unboxed. Make sure the tape's off. The tape still sticks to the side of the boxes. This is crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. All right. First thing up, they give you your wearing guide. This is exactly how you're supposed to wear them. All right. So you want to pay attention to those directions. Then, of course, installation guide when you want to install your wings. They got that underneath the flap. They got you covered all the way through. All right. So first thing you see is the case. We'll set that to the side for a moment. Let's go ahead in. We got the filler here. And we've got our quick start guide here as well. All right. Now, underneath here, this is where... We have our ear tips and everything. Let's go ahead and pop this open. I like that. All right, so you got your wings up here. You got one pair of small and you got large. You got one pair of those. And of course, you got a whole plethora of ear tips. You've got the seal ear tips here and you got breathable ear tips. So if you... Uh, Basically, you, you want that seal for everything. This is for noise blocking. This is for airflow, all right? So the noise blocking or the seal ear tips, you got extra small, small and large. For the breathable ear tips, you got small, medium and large. All right, so more airflow. It said more airflow with no noise cancel, no noise blocking. So you got your options there. I really like that. And of course, whoops, in here we have the USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And of course it's Soundcore branded. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, just on that part. The USB-C part does not have the branding, but it's there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but I like that little touch there. All right, so we got all that there. Let's go ahead and crack open this case. They did not mention if there was any wireless charging, so we will definitely test that out. I do 
like the matte finish. You got the the gloss uh, Soundcore logo here. I like that. You got your USB-C charging cable here on the back, along with your Bluetooth pairing button. Of course, you got your LEDs here in the front for uh, charging. And I like that. I always did love the sliding case. Ever since they did that with the, what was it, the uh, Liberty uh, 3 Pros when they first started doing that, I love it. Just so you can pop it open and everything. So this is what the earbuds look like. Let's go ahead and pull up. Oh, you got this little, all right, we got a little case there. Now we can get these out. Okay, got a little, let me get this out here so we can take care of the contacts. All right, so now they are in the con. This is what they look like. Very, very small. Man, these are really tiny. Okay, you got a night, you got a wingtip right out of the box. You got the medium size. Uh, I'm just going wing here on the top, medium sized ear tip right out of the box. And of course you got your contacts for charging. I'm just impressed at how small these guys are. <laughs> these are really small. Okay. Very, very comfortable. Give me a second, man. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull these out. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull this out. Put these in my ear real quick. Not pull them out, but put these in my ear. We're going to take a picture so you can see exactly what they look like. We're going to do that right now. This is something else. I love the, how, how small they are. This is crazy. All right. This is how they look in the air right now. I tell you, very, 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 very discreet or uh, sits really well inside the air. I had to take that one out. All right. And. Again, very comfortable. I might uh, get a larger wing. That way I make sure they stay locked in. As you can see, the medium wing right there doesn't go all the way up to the end of the ear well. I need that cartilage. I like to make sure that twists and locks in. Um, but other than that, very, very comfortable, very light in the ear. A lot, I'm very interested in here. All right, so what we gonna do, let me get this cleaned up here. We gonna go ahead and quickly get these paired into the app, paired onto my phone. And we're going to go ahead and walk through the app. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. And real quick, before uh, we go and get the pairing done, I wanted to take you, walk you guys through real quick on how to pull the and replace the wing on these as well as the ear tip. Uh, the ear tip portion is very simple. I already did the right one. So we're going to go ahead and quickly run through the left one here. So what you want to do is hey, you want to take off the ear tip first. All right. And now, as you can see, it's got a whole flap here. So you want to peel this off completely. And that's your wing. All right. So now you, if you want to level up, which I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to, all right, now this is the large, as you can see here. So what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead, pop this in, and make sure it fits all the way around. All right. One thing you want to take care, you want to make sure is your contacts. You want to make sure that your contacts are not covered in any way, shape, or form. All right. And if you want to, then of course you can put your, if you want to test it before you put your ear tip on, because once you put your ear tip on, it's pretty much locked in place. I'm just going to make triple check mine here and make sure I'm straight. All right. If you want to test it, just drop it back into the case. If your case recognizes it, let's go ahead and close this up. If your case recognizes it as being connect contacts, contacts touching, then you, you you did the right, you did a good job. All right, so we can go ahead and pop that off. That's the way I test. And then you go ahead and you can put your ear tip back on. Whoops, <laughs> apparently I didn't do it right that time. All right, but here we go. All right, oh, did I get it on? Nope. Now I did. All right. So now you have your ear tip on your, your, your wing sleeve is on and you can rock out. So I just wanted to go ahead and uh, show you that real quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and grab my phone. Let's get these guys in pairing mode. Let's see. We got the pairing button here on the back. All right, we got a beeping, blinking, so we're in pairing mode. 
So what we gotta do, whoops, I still had that up. <laughs> we'll go into our Bluetooth settings. And connect. Soundcore Sleep A20s popped up immediately. Let's go ahead and hit pairing. There we go, now it worked. All right, now we got it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so now we got it paired up. It's in that, you know, on the phone there. So let's go ahead and jump into the app. All right, here we go. No, that's not it. Let's go ahead and get into the app. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so now we're in the app here. Let's go ahead and make sure. Back up. It sees them. Device found. Let's go ahead and hit connect. All right, now this course is going to tell you exactly how to walk through and get these guys to fit properly in the air, the twist and lock formation there. And then let's go to next. And then, of course, you can select, select your sleep schedule. I like this. Very nice bedtime reminders and things of that nature. We could you can go ahead and set it here. So uh, I put mine at zero hundred because I'm I'm usually I'm the last one down in my house. So it's usually around it's usually around twelve and I wake up at about six. All right, so. And then you, of course, like I said, you can do a bedtime and a reminder to let you know that hey, it's getting is getting close to bedtime. I know my times are all messed up, but it is what it is. All right, and then of course you're gonna go ahead and walk through our things. All right, we gonna switch Bluetooth switch. You can switch between Bluetooth and night, but we'll do all that. All right, so then bang already. There's a firmware update, so we gonna go ahead and run this real quick, and then we'll we'll take a look through the app. We're doing this all in real time. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in. Uh, phone went to sleep on me. We got it all paired up. We got the update done. Let's go ahead and take a quick run through the app. Uh, at the top, you got your two options. You got Bluetooth, and then you have your sleep mode. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover Bluetooth real quick. I see you got your you know, your gear here in the top, and you can go in. You set your default settings. You got your controls, which you only have double tap and, and triple tap options too for both the left and right earbud. Okay, um, and of course you got your sound effects. You know you can go in here. You can set for default. These are your default uh, presets if you want to use them. But if you want to go to custom, you have your EQ set. You know your graphic equalizer. You got your eight band there. Typical uh, sound core setup. Love it. You can go ahead and set that up. I'll play with that later on. Then of course you got your find device in case you lose like an earbud or something. While you're sleeping, you can wake up, use that to find it. You got your your prompt tones. You got a widget where you you know you can actually set up a widget on the your home screen for these. I like that's a nice touch. And of course, you got your name, the serial number, all the information uh, for the app uh, for the earbuds and stuff. And then of course, you can use you got uh, help and feedback option at the bottom. Now, if we switch over to the sleep option, you get the same thing here as far as your menu. But if you go out to the main screen. Let's go ahead and switch over there. All of a sudden things change. You still got the picture of the earbuds. You got their name. You got the battery levels and everything. But things change down here below. You got your bedtime. You got your, you know, where you have an alarm set. You got the next one set for uh, whatever time you have. Then you got your playback settings. If you tap on that, you can say how long you want to keep audio playing. You can say until I fall asleep and then you set two hours. Or, you know, you got a dial where you can do that, or you can do all night. Then you got the smart switch, it'll enter to, um, which will all, automatically enter sleep mode and switch streaming media to sleep sounds after you fall asleep. So if you're watching something and you fall asleep, it will just switch, like, like I said, it will automatically switch you over to your soothing sounds and you, you know, you'll stay asleep that way. I think that's a very cool feature. I think I'll turn that. I'm going to turn that on because I'm, gonna go, I'm taking these to bed tonight and we're going to test that out. Then, of course, you got your smart volume. So if you can turn that off and on. This will allow you to, uh, you know, change, you know, the volume will adjust based on your sleep. And then, of course, you got your uh, 
volume slider here is at 60. Now mine is at 69%. I'm gonna put that down back, back down to like 50. That's close enough. But then you got your uh, your sleep things here. Uh, you got it says rain right here. So we're gonna keep on moving down to the bottom here. Because now that you have you have sounds, let's go ahead and flip over there. Now here in the sleep mode, you can set up your own library. Let me see, make sure you guys are in camera. Right? You can set your own sleep library if you want. Right now I have, you know, rains here. Then you got Misty Railway. Um, you can go ahead and, and create your own list if you have it. So if you go to edit. And then you got these two there, sleep sounds. There's two or four. You can have four rather. Right now I only have two by default. I haven't really got into that. Then you can go switch mode to add new, uh, switch mode to add new sounds. So if we go there and then boom, you got all kinds of sounds you can choose from. All different kinds. You got ma all, you got masking, then you got water. So you got rain, light rain, thunderstorms, rivers, side, seaside, ocean waves, showers, et cetera, et cetera. And you got nature, we got wind, storm, and it, you know, you got all different things, fire, campfires, micro fire, all kinds of stuff. You got life where you got trains, airplanes, spaceships, computer, you know, keyboards. Then you got meditation. You have a whole bunch of things you can choose from. Unfortunately, right now you can only select four. So I like my thunderstorms and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick thunderstorm. And what else? I like running let's do river all right so now you got them so when i go to my library let me go back in all right so now you can go in and we can turn up the volume if we want to we'll leave it right there and hit transfer transfer them out make my sleep sound all right we gonna put Ron's Z's. <laughs> we'll make that plural. All right, there we go. So now I call Ron Z's. Okay, so now it's gonna go ahead and transfer those two over, which is cool. Might take a little bit, but that you know, of course, you can go in and do all the changes. Uh, you know, as far as audio and everything, as far as sound goes. So we won't let this go ahead. Wait, this one's just about done. It's really fast. I like this. Really quick to get these things changed up. We're doing this in real time. Just want to show you guys how this works. Very nice. All right, so now the transfer is complete. All done. Got it. So now we go back to my library. You got Ron Z's. And then it will start playing my uh, my stuff. And, then, you know, if I want to go to rain, you know, there it is. You know, all different things in my libraries. All right, so that's a really good feature to have. And then, of course, if you go down here at the bottom, it says sleep data or sleep data. You tap on that. This will give you all your, you know, it will show you all your data as far as when you're wearing the earbuds, your sleep patterns, everything like that. Um, it, will, it will start, you know, the only thing it will start once you start, once you fall asleep, this is when it start collecting the data. And then you'll be able to come back and review this to see uh, what's going on. If you're getting a good, a full good night's sleep, if you're getting well rested sleep, everything like that. And then of course you can set it and it will sync date. You sync your data daily. So that way you can progress. You can see how you do day to day as far as getting um, adequate sleep and everything. So I, I really do like that. I can't wait to try this out tonight. And um, oh, let me go back in and everything. So of course you got your playback settings here. We already talked about that. Um, so if you want, I think that's it for this. I think I got everything covered. Unfortunately, there is no wireless charging on these. I tried that off camera. So there is no wireless charging. There is no multi-point connectivity for these. But these are strictly geared for sleep. 
So I'm not going to knock it for not being able to connect to one device, more than one device there. I'm not going to knock it at all. So what we want to do now is I'm going to go ahead. We go. I'm a, it's a, it's a almost 1130 at night right now. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll call it a night. We're going to put these in. We're going to sleep on them. And then we'll come back tomorrow. We'll finish up this video and I'll show you how they did. Talk to you then. All right, we back. Slipping the, with these all night in the air, and I have to admit, these earbuds are extremely, extremely comfortable. They had a good fit. I did wind up switching out, going in with the larger ear tip, larger wing. Um, I, you know, you guys saw me put that on, and if so, it fits so secure, so snug, so comfortable. Uh, I woke up in the middle of the night thinking I was hearing things and I totally forgot that I was wearing them. <laughs> and then once I, you know, once my head cleared a little bit, I realized I still had them on. I was listening to like the, uh, the rain, uh, sound, soothing sound, or, you know, rain. So I had that going on. I had the wind cracked open, had a little breeze coming in. So felt like I was literally listening to a rainstorm and it was so, so, so soothing and everything like that. I got a good night's sleep. Uh, unfortunately, the app didn't record uh, my sleep um, profile. I think it's because it's still in, it's still being worked on. But I it did do that. I did get the alert at 6 a.m. I did get the alarm and everything coming through the earbuds uh, to get up and everything. So, but it, it was a very, very comfortable uh, experience for these and. I just, I'll definitely be using these a whole lot when it comes to uh, going to sleep and everything. So let's continue our testing. Oh, I stand corrected. Here is my sleep style. I leave my sleep data from last night. I got almost seven hours of sleep uh, from 11, from 11, 11 to 604. And then of course you can see my wake patterns. Okay. As far as me being awoke, like sleep, it, had, it was in light sleep, woke up, then went back into light, went into a deep sleep. Oh, let me back up. Uh, bounced back and forth uh, between like deep sleep and light sleep. Uh, then, you know, I guess that's what, right around two o'clock in the morning I was up. Uh, and then again, you know, waking up steadily. And some of the stuff I don't even remember. <laughs> like, like these little peaks here, uh, I don't know if you can see these peaks here, I don't remember. I remember this one. Sorry. I remember this one right around quarter to four. At, but other than that, other than waking up here at the end, those right there, I didn't remember getting up, to be honest. Okay. It tells me, ah, let me stop. And it, it tells me, it tells me our wake time, one hour, 45 minutes, light sleep, and then deep sleep. So it gives me all this information. I'm, I, I swear, but when I started this recording, this wasn't there. And I went in and checked on it again, and now it's there. And then it tells me how many times I rolled over. <laughs> and then it says back to sleep. You know, rolled over, new position, back to sleep 60% of the time. So uh, I'm really, I'm a toss. Apparently, I toss and turn a lot in my sleep. But I digress. And it says it gives you your sleep goal. Sleep goal met. I was 72% there. Seven hours, they say, is the recommended sleep time. I'm going to be honest. I never sleep seven hours at a night unless I am sick. <laughs> and that's rare that I am under the weather like that. So, but again, great, great data here. I'm going to keep rolling with this and keep this going. See if I could build up some kind of profile and then reassess everything and try to find out, maybe see how I can get the, the most sleep possible. But again, this app does work. It didn't work before, uh, like when I got up in the morning, it wasn't there. And right before I started shooting this, it wasn't there. Um, and then all of a sudden, boom, it shoots, it, it shows up here. So now I'm glad it did. So that way you guys can actually get a look at it. Now, let's continue our testing. What we want to do now is the mono mode test. So we're going to go ahead and see if these guys can be used individually or do you have to have both of them in at the same time? So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get our music started. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna start with the left earbud. We ain't gotta worry about a wear sensor because there isn't any on these. We will put that in, close it. Audio is still playing. 
Just go ahead and take these, take it back out. We're gonna put the left back in. All right. We got music playing in both earbuds. Let's go to the right. I keep pulling that thing off. There we go. Right earbud. Drop that in. Close it. Music is still playing. So you can use these independently, doubling up your playtime. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. What we're going to do now is the button or the touch control test. Uh, I have it all set up here. Um, now, like I said, you only get two options. You get a double press and a triple press options. But so you do have a whole range of settings that you can choose from, but you only get them and you get them for both earbud, which is good, but I wish there were more. All right, so I have mine set up a certain way. So we're gonna go ahead and test that. Now on the left earbud, if I tap twice, it should switch my functions from Bluetooth to sleep. Let me go ahead and do that. One, two. There it is. All right, it's, now I'm in sleep mode and initiated my rain sound. I'm gonna pause that quick. Now you gotta be careful because of how small they are. You got muscle memory is gonna have to take control or have to take over and you have to figure out exactly where your touch controls are. I try to adjust them as much as I possibly can in order to allow that, uh, allow that touch surface to be more uh, accessible because of how small they are and how they sink into your ear. All right, let me go back and see if I'm gonna switch back to music mode. All right, now switch me back to music mode. So that works. Now, we go ahead into our music. Now I have it set to where uh, my uh, double tap on the left, on the right earbud rather, goes into uh, play pause. So we're gonna go ahead and start some music. All right, we got music started. We will double tap the right, one, two, and it pause my music, double tap again. And my music is playing. Now, my triple tap features for the left earbud uh, will allow me to go back to the previous track. So we're gonna try that. One, two, three. All right, took me back to the beginning. One, two, three again took me to the uh, previous song. Now, triple tap on my right earbud allows me to go to the next song. So we're gonna do that. One, two, three. And it went back to the, the went to the next song. Very responsive once you um, actuate your functionality. It's just a shame you only get two options there. Let me pause this. And I really wish that in a future update, they will give us more uh, touch control options there. Uh, even the press and hold would be nice to have as well. But like I said, very responsive when you use them. Let's continue. All right, what we're gonna do now is the sound test. We're gonna go ahead into our app. I'm gonna show you my uh, sound my sound controls. We are in the music mode or Bluetooth mode now. So let's go ahead and jump in. And you can see that's my EQ settings. Now let's go ahead and make get out of here. Get ready queued up. We got our music queued up. Let's make sure we are optimal listening level. That's where we are. Now, let me, before we get started, let me um, say something here. Uh, because of the size of these earbuds, how small they are, I'm not really expecting too much on the bass end of things. Um, but uh, we, I'm, I'm expecting some nice, uh, clear vocals and everything on the mids and high side. I think we get some low end, but not tremendous amount. And uh, so we're not gonna hold that against them. But let's go see how they sound anyway. So let's go ahead and jump into our first song. Let me back up. All right, here we go. All right, very clean vocals, just like I expected. Nice and clean. Piano sounds crisp. Nice detail with the echo. Okay. Again, nice, clean, clear vocals. Now we got the background instruments coming in. All right, nice sound stage. 
Got a tiny bit of a of a rumble with the cello strings, but enough detail in it to to be picked up. All right, now we're gonna get the uh, background vocalist in. Again, nice, clean, clear vocals. Soundstage is really nice. Again, the the string instruments in the background, do, they sound really, really good. They sound really, really good. I I I I cannot. I stress that enough. They sound really good. Very, very pleased with it so far. Uh, again, this, you got to take in consideration the size of these earbuds. All right, let's go ahead and let's we're gonna do the bass test anyway. I did say I'm not going, I'm not going to hark on the lack of bass, but I just want to see how much these guys will produce. So let's go ahead. Okay. Now, again the. Uh, the low end gets the sounds lower. Got a, nice, a little bit of a rumble, but again, not anything to, to write home about. Again, again, by design, these are not meant to uh, give you a nice bass drop or anything like that, but I just wanted to test it anyway. All right, all right. We ain't gonna stay on there any longer than we have to be because of the way the bass sounds on there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna quickly just jump into uh, another song here before we go to our final one. Let's find a good one. You know, I always gotta go back to. I'm gonna go to some old school. Uh, where is it at? Yeah, here we go. Some true old school truth. See how we sound here. Nice piano, little drums, like the sound stage. Nice clean vocals. And nice and clean sound. Like when you start with the mids and highs, they sound really good. Very nice. We're not going to stay on this long. I just wanted to give it a shot and taste it. Give it a taste, rather. See how we do. Okay. Very nice. Very nice sound on them. Very clean vocals and everything. I just wanted to give them a quick shot. Let's go ahead and get into our final song. All right. Nice start off again. Not too much low end, but still a nice warm beginning. Not warm, but nice uh, level beginning. Again, Natalie's saxophone sounds very crisp. It sounds... It's a nice clean sound of these. Again, there's a sign for you to sleep, so it's not going to get too loud. It's not going to be too loud in your ear because these are designed for sleep, like I said. And here's a high note. Very nice. Very nice. Now we got the background instruments coming in. Again, nice sound stage. Okay, and you got the balance too, still. Nice detail with that keyboard there. I picked that up. Again, very clean sounding. All right. Again, very clean sounding headphone earbuds. I don't know why I'm going with headphones. Earbuds. Again, built for sleep, so they're not going to be, uh, not going to have like a booming volume. Okay. Uh, and again, because of the size of them, the bass. Uh, you know, don't expect anything. Don't expect too much, or, or from the from the low end with these earbuds. So, um, again, the strictly good for sleep, but they do sound good despite that fact. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about my likes and dislikes on these. 
stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. Let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes. Let's start off with my uh, dislikes uh, about the uh, Sleep A20s. Um, the one thing, there's a couple of things, especially for the price point I wish they had, one being multi-point connectivity. I wish these did have that feature on there, as well as wireless charging for the case. Uh, those are the main two things that, oh, and uh, additional um, touch controls. Um, the two that you're granted that you can only set up two per earbud is not enough for me to be honest, uh, especially in today's, uh, market when you start talking about earbuds like, uh, like, like this and other ones, those three, uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> that, I think those are the more, uh, basically the main three things that I dislike about them other than, you know, uh, uh, you know, for what they are, what they are, what they're used for, what their use use case is, uh, I think that's the only three things missing. Now let's go ahead and flip it over and talk about what I like. And there is a lot to like here. I like the size of these earbuds. I like the fact that they are awesome for size sleepers like myself. Uh, again, slept in them last slept with them in last night. I had no problem at all. Was not worried about again them falling out again. I did switch out the ear wing, the wings and the ear tips. I went with the larger size, got me a nice, uh, a more secure fit, and I didn't have to worry about losing them over the course of the evening of the night rather. Uh, very comfortable uh, touch controls. The ones that we do have, the touch surfaces, the touch pad, very responsive, very snappy, and um, actuating your functionality requests all the time uh the sound is good but for what is used for it's not one of be like a regular pair of headphones or earbuds like the sony's or the cambridge or any other of the uh sound core lineup uh these are not it okay those are not the ones you want to look for uh, if you're looking for something that's going to give you a uh, night a bright sound thumping bass and everything like that you want to look for those or anything in the uh, Soundcore lineup, uh, the Liberty 4s, Liberty 4 and Cs, even the Liberty 3 Pros, uh, you wanna look for that type of uh, uh, earbud. But again, for what they were, they, for what they're used for, not that what they were, what they're used for, listen to that, I don't know where my mind is. <laughs> they are great. I am definitely gonna be using these, to be honest. I'll be using these ones uh, for sleep, um, definitely pop these in, get my little, uh, one of my, uh, water, uh, sounds going on, either the rain or the thunderstorm or something like that. I'm gonna try a thunderstorm tonight. I did try rain yesterday, last night. That was pretty cool. Uh, I like that one, but I'm gonna try a thunderstorm tonight and see how they, and see how they hold up there. But again, very, very good, uh, earbuds to have for sleep. I just wish those three features uh, were available with these at this price point. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. So this has been unboxing review of the Soundcore Space A20 Bluetooth earbuds, built for sleep, designed for sleep. These guys are really, really uh, live up to their name. Very comfortable. I highly recommend you guys at least give these a look um, if you're looking for uh, earbuds in that type of in that realm all right again if you like what you see go ahead and hit the like button if you want to join me as i continue to do videos like this and others go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell that way you're notified when videos like this and others drop and i'll definitely see you guys on the next one peace